web services is a well known concept in uh, the overall internet community uh, but when it comes to ngn the itut came up with standardizing the access of web services so uh, in this module we are going to look at the formal definition of web service uh, how these can be extended from the traditional uh, best effort internet to the ngn and uh, what are the implementation options that we have so the precursor to the web services is actually the web when i say web it actually means uh, html pages the hypertext markup language based uh, static pages which included uh, text and some illustrations uh, so html pages were best suited for for delay tolerant applications such as browsing uh, which was based on uh, http uh, the concept of uh, adopting the http subsequently for web service comes with a lot of advantages because the overall legacy of uh, technology helps us to uh, embrace the benefits that we have seen in maturing http because http moved from 1.0 to 1.1 to https so it means that uh, it's a very matured technology so once we talk about uh, generalizing or uh, um, abstracting the concept of service um, because we are moving from web uh, browsing to literally any browsing uh, this helps us to uh, um, take benefit of the existing architecture uh, in in existing networks when we talk about uh, the interaction that takes place between uh, the uh, the browser user equipment uh, which resides in user equipment and the web server uh, it 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 is based on the concept of cookies which provide some um uh, pleasant user experience and uh, uh, history historical logging uh, through cookies but uh, cookies have their own limitations because they are strictly um uh, tied up with the concept of uh, web pages uh, but so how these are extended we will see in a, in a while so web services uh, actually are formally defined as uh, um, a service literally any service which is provided by using the um, system of um, browsing or the web this means we are going to use the concept of request and response uh, we are going to look at the concept of uh, url which is resolved using uh, the domain name system uh, and then we are going to look at the concept of um, the server which is available 24/7 so once we have adopted these three essential features of uh, uh, services on web we can extend them to literally any service so the web services which are actually adopted by itut in ngn make a more generalization a, uh, a good generalization to the web pages by assuming that the relationship between the request and the response is determined real time like if you are making a request for a web page uh, you are expecting that particular web page to arrive and uh, uh, you the parameters that you've passed in that request are uh, straightforward but once you loosen up the relationship between the request and the response this allows a variety of features that can be incorporated in real time this can be implemented through um, xml which is a, a extensible markup language it's it, it's a much more powerful feature uh, a fe a feature based uh, variant of html in which the user uh, literally can define anything in html kind of tags so uh, if if you have such a mechanism then you can incorporate these uh, um web services to provide literally any service using the web 
for instance there is a protocol known as uh, simple object access protocol as the name implies it's an application layer protocol that works over http so you are encapsulating the soap message in http payload uh, to carry traffic that literally can pass any kind of uh, service from the service provider end to the service user end so uh, now if we want to publicize or publicly make uh, make a web service available then for that ngn provides us the standardized interface of uh, the ani or the application to network interface uh, so when ani is used it means any web service that has to be uh, serviceable over ngn has to be registered the registration format is defined by wistl or the web service description language it is a kind of uh, a variant of xml uh, that is machine readable it it contains the metadata of uh, the service uh, for instance how to discover a service how to make a call how to activate it and uh, how the service can be altered or the if, uh, it, if it if it has certain parameters that can be tweaked and particular data structure um so once we have the uh, uh, ani application to network interface so the xml based uh, web service registry process in wisdel helps the um, web service to be present once a web service is present then the web service provider actually looks for these services uh because these services can be coming from third parties uh so it means that some kind of uh, uh web service provider will make a pool or a list of all the services that it will provide to the user that makes a request uh so it means that uh there is going to be an entity known as the registry entity or uh, we, you can call it a directory agent that keeps track of all the web services which are present uh, in ngn and then web service providers are going to discover these services and are going to share them with the uh, clients and of course once these services are uh, uh, discovered then the service providers can use soap to share these services with the uh, service requesters um when we look at the uh, web services Now we can think of uh, literally any uh, service that starts off as being simple HTML page to more complex services like uh, uh, IPTV, uh, the PSTN, or uh, the digital network like integrated services, digital network kind of uh, emulation service uh, that behaves or performs like a real PSTN. or a digital video broadcast network uh, or uh, probably voice over ip service so it means if you start thinking about all these services they're all, they're all web services but web service as such still allows you to do something new and advanced so uh, let's look at the architecture in this architecture we have if you look at figure the two rectangles are the ngn architecture in the core we have the service stratum we have the transport stratum the service stratum now has the application support functions and service support functions which are now going to interact with the web services through the application to network interface the web services are there discovered and available for use by the providers they are discoverable through their respective vestels the registry service keeps track of all the possible web services that the web service providers can discover and subsequently provision to the end users so there's a repository then we have the requester or the end user equipment so above the application to network interface line you can see the complete architecture it's actually known as the service oriented architecture if you look at this you will understand that the abstraction of web service is such a great breakthrough or an advancement for providing literally any kind of service over the amazing ngn architecture that is geared to provide quality of service 
suited to the web services individual requirements.